GITV would like to thank our sponsors, Condor Outdoor, G4 Airsoft, Contour Camera, Ares by Z-Shot, and KWA. Hi GITV, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and right here we got Tim Sargent, and we've got quite a playful video for you today. We're comparing two staples of Airsoft. This is the KWA M4 CQB, and that is the ICS SIG 552. Indeed. We're going to look at these two guns back to back, comparing their features, their performance, and stuff like that, because they are similarly priced. The M4 being the most popular gun pretty much in Airsoft, and this being a very worthwhile substitute if you're looking to get something other than an M4. Mm. Now, KWA pretty much makes the best M4s or guns on the market, mm -hmm. pretty much well known for that. And ICS definitely makes the best 5.52. Other 5.52s out there have plastic bodies or terrible internals, but ICS really brought this entire gun together very well. So we start? Yes. From front to back? Mm hmm. Or back to front? How about front to back? Okay. If that's what you want. I do. Threaded barrel with. Well, threaded barrels for which you can attach a barrel extension. I have them. Like this, right yeah. here. I have one. Well, I have one threaded barrel as well, yes. Okay. Railed handguard. Uh, I don't have one. I do have a railed handguard, however, you can fit a rail on there. A lot of different ones. A lot of different ones. That's one of the reasons why the M4 is so popular, because it's extremely, extremely modular. However, right out of the box, the ICS is good to go with three rails, one of which is made for the PEC box that comes with the gun. If you don't have a battery that fits inside the handguard, you can put it in the included PEC box. Limited, limited battery space inside the handguard of this gun. Mm. Uh, I can put a battery inside the handguard of this gun, but if I put the rails on there, I'm probably going to need a peck box. You will need a peck box. It's wired to the front, so. Indeed. Metal body. Yes! Mine has Sig Arms logos and trademarks on it because it's officially licensed by Cyber Gun. What does your gun say? Uh, mine says KWA KM4 CQB. Made in Taiwan. That makes perfect sense because KWA makes the gun in Taiwan. Mine says Made in Switzerland. Oh, and you have the Swiss Army trademarks on there too. Yeah, but that's because it's actually the real guns made in Switzerland. The airsoft guns made in Taiwan too. Touche. Do you have a functional charging handle? I do! Do you have a functional catch and release? I don't! Do you fish at all? I catch and release all the time. Okay. Mostly catch, not as much release. But your gun does not catch and release. Nope. That's too bad, because that sound is cool! Oh yeah. What about an ambidextrous fire selector? Uh, no, mine is for righties only. I'm sure a lefty could use this. It's just tough. My sights have different apertures on them so that you can use them in different lighting scenarios. Does your sights have that? Um, I can flip it. There's light and dark, and that's it. Okay. Oh, it works, I guess. Yeah. Just not as cool as my gun. Mm. What about the folding stock? Uh, mine extends forward and backward. Okay, so pretty good adjustability, however, you can cut the overall length of this gun down by almost 10 inches or so, yeah. just by folding the stock to the side, making it very, very good for CQB. Another thing that makes this gun awesome for CQB is the fact that the magazines have this quick attaching feature that you can attach to themselves so that you can reload very quickly. If you have more than one SIG magazine, let's see how these come apart. No, you just twist them. They did do that, right? No, here. Oh, very good, Bob. So, two magazines fit together very easily, they'll take apart just as easily. And each of these hold over 400 rounds, so you're not going to run out of BBs anytime soon with the SIG. Alright, well mine comes with a 300 round high cap, which is cool. Again, it works, but as far as external capabilities go, I think that the SIG is much more capable right out of the box. We're not knocking the M4 at all. No. It's definitely a good gun, especially one made by KWA. Yeah. It has a lot of customizability. You can have different rails, different sights, different stocks, different pistol grips. You can put a lot of different stuff on here. However, if you're looking for a gun that's good to go right out of the box, I would say that the SIG takes the cake, especially when comparing against the M4. True. I do have rails on the top, though. You do have a rail on top, so your gun is optics ready right out of the box. The SIG, in order to mount optics to the top of the receiver, you do need a separate mount for that. Mm. Now one of the things I noticed about this gun, or actually the first thing I noticed, is that I saw this in the first Matrix movie when the SWAT team comes in, tries to grab Neo and the rest of them, but a lot of other militaries use the SIG 552, SIG 550, and so on, uh, including German Germany's GSG-9, which is a special ops police unit. Uh, I believe the Indian National Security Guard also, also uses them, and the uh, Swiss Army uses the heck out of them. It's a Swiss gun, so there you go. And from what I remember more specifically, the United States DEA also uses the SIG. So, Did you ever see Assault on Precinct 13? You know, I wanted to, and then I didn't. You should watch that. There's a lot of SIGs in that movie, too. A lot, a lot of the tricks out ones, yeah. Yeah. With red extensions and sights and lasers and cool stuff like that. Oh, cool. Indeed. So we pretty much covered the externals back to back. Let's compare the gun's performance side by side. Same battery, FPS, rate of fire, all that jazz. Right when we return. 
Please take the proper safety precautions when using your airsoft guns. Always wear eye protection when firing your guns. Airsoft is fun, but it's not worth losing an eye. Alright, welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. <laughs> Sounded kind of like a fob there. Welcome back to Airsoft. Never mind. That was a funny intro. That was a funny intro. We'll use it. Whatever. Alright, we're going to begin the performance comparison between the SIG 552 and the CQB by KWA with a rate of fire test. Using the same battery in both guns, we're going to see which one has a better rate of fire. This is an 11.1 line poly with a 20C dump. So, full auto. That should be enough for an audio sample. That's Bob, good. your turn. All right. Hmm? All right. Hmm. Something tells me that's a little faster, but we never know until we get back to the editing table and look at the actual audio sample from both of these guns. Now, leave that plugged in. Let's go get some BBs, and we'll chrono both of them side by side. Highly acceptable. All right, Bob. So we're looking at similar performance numbers FPS-wise between the two guns. Correct. Rate of fire, haven't analyzed the footage yet, but it looks like the KWA might be a little faster rate of fire-wise. Probably not by a whole lot, though. Very negligible. Player's perspective. Ooh, it's a tough one, because I have an M4 CQB myself. Mm -hmm. um, I got it basically because I knew I was going to put a lot more stuff on it. I didn't, I didn't get it because I was going to play with it right out of the box. So. Honestly, if I if I only had enough money, or if I knew I was just going to get the gun and go right after the field and play, I'd probably get that and a uh, vertical foregrip. But if I if I was going to like get a gun to like really put some work into, like add on stuff, probably this guy. Okay, I'm kind of in a similar boat too. I have like five M4 variant guns. Oh yeah, two of them are CQB variant guns already with rail systems and stuff like that. So I would say that if I was in the market right now to buy a new gun. Between the two, this would definitely be it. Yeah, yeah. Right out of the box, it's definitely good to go. And I'm already, I mean, I'm kind of over the M4. I have a lot of them. Yeah, it's a bit odd. Honestly, I really like you can clip the mags together. That's one of my favorites. It is coming handy, especially for close push combat, which mm. we play a lot. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. So I think that we're saying that the SIG is comparable to the M4, depending on what you want as a player. Yeah, and honestly, it, uh, it gives you a little bit more, not credibility necessarily, but a little bit more flash, because not a lot of people have these, to be honest. Not at all. I mean, there's still customizable things that you can do to this gun. For example, this bad boy. Yeah. I mean, so if you show up on the field, not only do you not have an M4, you have a sick gun that not very many people probably know about. Mm. I really like that scope, too. That's awesome. Me too. Mm. I think that's going to do it for the SIG versus M4. Do you have anything else to add? Um... Nope, really like both these companies. Uh, I would suggest either of these guns, but they're just really fun. Thanks for watching GITV. See you later. Mm. GITV is brought to you in part by Sig Sauer by Cybergun, Operation Line Claws Milsim Series, G&G &G Armament, KJW, and Javelin Airsoft Gunworks. Hi, GITV. I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is Tim Sargent. We got quite a special... What? That's not my name. Oh, T.S. Excuse me. Whatever. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi, GITV. How no, about... No, no, not start again. Oh. Go. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we've got quite an interesting thing well, for you. We have to start over. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, GITV. I'm well, Bob. I haven't stopped smiling yet. <laughs> I'm going to do the entire thing facing this way. Goes out and in. Screw the vacuum. No, I'm going to start over because it totally distracted me. Uh, right. One of these rails is made for the included peck box that comes with the gun. If you can't or don't want to fit a little battery inside the handguard, you can put one. Huh. Thank you, train. Ambidextrous fire selector. Uh, nope, this is for righties only. Righties only. You can use it if you're left-handed, it's just a little more difficult. Do you have the trigger guard that swings out of the way for use with gloves? Uh, I don't. Stationary. Uh, fortunate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, but they do make good watches. And chocolate. And chocolate, yeah. And don't forget about the chocolate. Toblerone. Anyway, charging handle. 
Yes. Function. Yes. Catch and release. No. That's too bad. That's for fish. Yes. Catch and release. Yeah. 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 Fish, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> That's embarrassing.